Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to set up uh, and demonstrate the advanced oil pressure warning system that the multi-gauges possess. There is actually two methods for setting up oil pressure warnings in these gauges. Uh, the first is a basic, which pretty much uh, all oil pressure gauges have, and the second is an advanced one that we developed and, and put into these systems. Basic oil pressure warnings, uh, uh, as the name describes, fairly basic. Uh, you would ascertain what your oil pressure would be at at idle when the engine is fully warm um, and then set uh, the oil pressure warning value to be uh, a few psi below this so at any point in time the motor drops below that uh, oil pressure value uh, then a warning will be triggered. The only real issue with this is that uh, if, if you've got your vehicle uh, running you know, 4,000 RPM, 7,000 RPM and your oil pressure drops below that it would normally be around idle, there's a good chance you're probably already going to do some damage to the motor. So it's not very practical, it's better than having nothing, um, but we've developed an advanced oil pressure warning uh, that uh, we think is much more practical and allows the customers to configure it to be anything from very specific to more broad and uh, really uh, aids in, in picking up on conditions with oil pressure dropping uh, that could cause damage to the motor far better than, than a basic oil pressure um, uh, warning system. There is one, uh, one element that is required for an advanced oil pressure warning apart from the oil pressure reading itself. It's that the, the units will need to have TACO uh, wired into them for it to be out of function. So uh, we'll give you a quick rundown on the basic oil pressure setup first um, and then we'll move on to giving you an example of setting up an advanced oil pressure warning. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to set up the basic oil pressure warning. It's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you just want to make sure that your vehicle's oil is uh, fully warmed um, and at idle, uh, take a look at what your oil pressure is. As you can see here, uh, 35 psi around that figure uh, will be what the oil pressure will be. So now what we do is we're going to warning setup, move your switch down to set, press quickly the record button, uh, navigate down to oil pressure, um, and set it maybe 5 or so psi below, you just don't want it um, triggering when, when you're idling, so we might set it at 30. Uh, move the switch back up to play, the warning's now set, um, apply some you know, uh, RPM uh, to the motor, um, so we're up, up around 2000 RPM and we'll just drop the oil pressure and there you go, the warning has been triggered. Um, the same thing uh, will happen even if we're up in a much higher RPM, which we demonstrate here. Okay, we're at 5,000 RPM, and again, oil pressure goes under that, and it goes off. Um, so again, as, as I talked about earlier, this is pretty basic. Um, you know, if oil pressure is gonna be doing dramatic drops like that, when you're in those upper RPMs, it's it's you know it's still great to have it there, but it's not not very functional. So this is where the advanced uh, oil pressure setup really shines, and uh, we'll now move on to explaining how to do that. Okay, so we're now going to show how to set up and demonstrate the advanced oil pressure warning system that the multi gauges have. For the purposes of this demonstration, uh, we're going to assume we're dealing with a track car that is operating primarily between 4,000 and 7,000 RPM. We're also going to show two different example uh, setups for the warning, one being a narrower range of RPM operation for the warning and one being a broader RPM range for the warning. So uh, with that, we'll get on to showing you how to set it up. Okay, so the first step in setting up our narrower RPM range oil pressure warning uh, is to make changes to the oil pressure warning limit setting in the gauge and system setup. So you press both the select and set buttons on the gauge to enter the uh, display setup and navigate down to the setting oil pressure warning limit. Now, as you can see now it's on zero RPM and that's the setting that comes by default which is for when you want to set up a basic uh, oil pressure warning like we showed previously this setting needs to be on zero RPM. So for this warning with the narrower range we're going to increase this to four and a half thousand RPM and we'll explain what this does in a second. So now that this is done, you press the select and set button again to return to the screen. 
Now, the next step uh, in the process is to ascertain what your oil pressure would normally be at 4,500 RPM. Um, we'll show a nice little way of, uh, of getting that figure um, at the end of this demonstration. So uh, at the moment you can see we're at 4100 um, RPM. Uh, just for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, we're, going to, we're going to say that our, our oil pressure um, you know, at 4500 RPM, we've ascertained that it's 70 PSI. So what we're going to do now, the idea behind this is that you want to set your oil pressure warning value around 5 8 PSI below what it would normally be at at 4500. So we've ascertained that it's normally 70. So we're going to shoot for 62 or 63 on the actual warning itself. So switch down to set and hand controller, enter the warning setup. We go down to oil pressure. So we're going to increase this number now to, let's just go 62 uh, PSI. Okay, so now that that is set, what will now occur is that at any point in time that the vehicle is 4500 RPM or higher, if the uh, gauge detects that oil pressure drops below 62 PSI while the vehicle is at 4500 RPM or over, the gauge will alert you that there's a low oil pressure condition. So this is a slightly narrower RPM range, but as we said, this is a track car. It's spending most of its time between 4,000 and 7,000 RPM. So if you get a condition where you're at 6,500 RPM and we've dropped below um, you know, 62 PSI, the gauge is gonna let you know. This is a, a very, very uh, good way of, of doing oil pressure warnings. It can help you pick up on oil surge. Uh, if your oil's starting to thin out from, from uh, excessively high temperatures, um, this is going to catch it and be much more effective at, uh, at you backing off and saving your motor than waiting for it to get down to, you know, below what our idle oil pressures would be at. So now we'll give you a working demonstration of, um, of how this functions. So let's just increase uh, some oil pressure. Okay, so now you can see we're, we're up at 5300 RPM. Um, we've got 78 uh, pounds of, of oil pressure. Uh, we'll just get really close up there to, to red line. Um, now, as you can see, what we're gonna do now is reduce that oil pressure and there you go. The, the warning has gone off. So basically, it goes underneath 62 and we get a warning. Let's drop the RPM down. Uh, 50, 5300, once again, if we go beneath the 62, magic 62 number. Now we'll show you what happens when we go beneath 4500 RPM, which is our, uh, our starting RPM range. You can see the warning goes off. So this is an example of the uh, tighter, tighter range, narrow range of RPM operation for the warning. You don't have to go uh, this narrow. Um, it's just if you're in specific cases like a track car, um, you may want to go a little bit more narrow like this just to you know reduce the, the margin for error. Um, and what we'll show next is basically the same thing but just a slightly broader range um, uh, which you know, some people uh, would, would prefer to use. So now we're going to follow pretty much the same steps we used in the previous example for this one. The main changes are going to be the RPM range of operation, which we're changing from 4,500 down to 3,500. Um, and obviously the uh, oil pressure uh, warning value itself will be, will be slightly different to the previous example. So first thing to do is go in and navigate down to the oil pressure warning limit. And we change this to 3,500 RPM. And what this means, again, is that the oil pressure warning is only going to be functional when the vehicle is at 3,500 RPM or above. And being that we've pretty much got what our oil pressure would be at 3,500 RPM on the screen, we would, uh, we would set our oil pressure warning. Let's set this one at around 50 PSI. So again, if when the vehicle is uh, 3,500 RPM or over and it drops below 50 PSI, uh, the, the warning is going to trigger. So here we go. We'll just put a little more oil pressure in. And throw some, some RPM into it. And now we're at 5,700 RPM. Let's see what happens when we reduce our oil pressure. 
and there you go, there's the warning. Um, again, we'll just drop the RPM down a little bit. And again, there we go. We've got the, uh, the oil pressure uh, warning coming on. So as you can see from these two examples, you can pretty much uh, completely customize the way this functions. Uh, it's not just useful for track cars. You Just to, to even get a better oil pressure warning than your, your basic that we showed originally, you could you could set this range from 2,000 to, to red line, uh, 3,000 to red line. Um, it's just, it's going to give you a, a better chance of catching low oil pressure before it really gets catastrophically low. So um, what we'll do now um, is show you a really neat little trick that you can use with these gauges to ascertain what your oil pressure um, is normally at when, when at the, uh, the RPM that you'd like the, the warning to begin at. So in these demonstrations, it was 4,500 and 3,500. There's a nice little way using the recording feature of, of these gauges to, to record driving around, uh, come home, play back uh, the recording um, of, of driving around, and you'll be able to ascertain what your oil pressure is normally at at those RPMs and safely enter them into the gauge to create these warnings. So now we're going to show you how to ascertain your oil pressure at different RPM levels using the uh, logging function of the gauge. It's a pretty simple process. All you need to do is make sure your vehicle is completely warmed up um, and go for a drive around the block. Uh, to enable recording on the units, you basically move your switch up to the real position and hit the record button. So now the unit is actually recording. So the next thing to do is obviously start driving and basically you'll see now that it's recording as RPMs increase and the oil pressures are uh, moving around, uh, it's basically recording that. Um, and once you're done, uh, you move the, sorry, once you're done, you press the uh, record button once again, it stops. When you get home safely, so you can review the gauge, move the switch back to play, hit the record slash play button, and you'll see that it actually replays uh, what you've logged um, as you were driving around. So this is the safest way to ascertain uh, your oil pressure uh, levels at a certain RPM, and this is, uh, this is the method you use to obtain the values to put into your warning. Okay, so this concludes our demonstration of both the basic and advanced oil pressure warning system setups that you can use in the 14 in one multi-gauge. As you can see by our examples of the advanced oil pressure warning uh, setup, this is a, a much better way of, of doing it than, than the basic setup and is only made possible by the fact that you were able to run TACO into the multi-gauge um, as well as the oil pressure. Um, we believe that this, this particular warning setup, along with the wideband leanout warning, um, are two of the most powerful warnings uh, that are in the system. If any of you have any questions uh, in regards to setting up uh, the oil pressure warning after watching this video, feel free to email us, call uh, Facebook at any time, and we'll be happy to help.